Emma, you got the new movie coming out. Who are you people coming out this Friday, February 24th? Just watch it over the weekend. Amazing, amazing film. What was it that attracted you to the film? Was it the script? Did Ben reach out to you? Like, just kind of give us a little bit about the process of, of getting in this film. Oh, no, I, I, I wasn't reached out to like Devin Sawa was. I got you. <laughs> um, I had a really last minute audition for it. Ben okay. was already, I think, in Portland looking at locations. Um, uh, it was a really quick turnaround, 24 hours. And so I went in kind of hostile, being like, oh, I gotta read this script. <laughs> the, the number of pages they wanted was also quite, uh, quite excessive. Um, but I, that all disappeared when I was reading it because I really, um, I thought the script was great. And uh, it dealt with um, some themes that I, that, that were very personal to me. Um, primarily like how much of where you come from is, is, is helpful or necessary to know and how much of it maybe not so much. Right. Um, yeah, I grew up, uh, there's someone very close to me who, who was adopted and didn't know for several years. Uh, and so I had seen that happen secondhand. Mm -hmm. uh, and then also my, my, my parents are immigrants. They, they came to the U.S. In, when they were 25. Um, and so, so that kind of identity crisis of being, you know, um, not a first gentleman, I guess that would make me 1.5 generation, I guess, if I was born here. But, but that identity crisis um, was something that was constant. Like, throughout my childhood and, and, and still has effects to this day. Um, okay. Okay. So in terms of that, that was gonna be my next question. You know, did besides your, the friend that you were talking about, did you reach mm -hmm. out and talk to other, you know, people that were adopted or adopted families to kind of, you know, dig a little bit deeper into this role? Um, I didn't again, because it had been such a big part of, um, I, I had seen I had seen so much of, of that, uh, and I, I chose to just focus on my on that particular experience to streamline the the process of right. preparing. Okay, yeah. especially because you said it was a quick turnaround too. So was it like audition and then you started filming right away? Yeah, it was like I think it was like a week later I was there. A week wow. And a half. Gotcha. So how cool was it working with uh, you know Devin, Alyssa, John, and and Yearly? It was awesome. Uh, yeah, it was, it, it was cool being like the least experienced person on that set and having to be the glue. Uh -huh. that, like, together. Um, yeah, it was awesome. I just, all of them are, are really hard workers. You can like understand, I, I fully understand why all of them have been in the business for so long. Um, uh, yeah, I, I have nothing but good things to say about all of them. Um, really generous, kind people. Nice. Now, did they give you any uh, tips as far as advancing in, in your career? Because I got to say, I mean, to me, you are a star in the rising. Like, I love your performance in this movie. Like, you could really, like, feel every every emotion through the screen. You know, your happiness, your sadness. I mean, you know, the first scene with, with you and Devin is, is kind of heartbreaking in a way because, you know, he tells you to go away. And yeah. you know, leading up to that scene on top of that, did you guys like purposely not talk to each other or see each other so you could be more in the moment? You know, kind of talk about that a little bit as well. Um, the, yeah, that, that was Devin's choice, actually. Devin was very adamant about that. Uh, we were the only two actors that were there the whole time. And so it was kind of like, we were at the same hotel, but Devin was like, <laughs> don't talk to me. Um, no, it was, it was, it was great. Uh, that, that, was, that felt really real. And, and the beauty of the schedule was that a lot of it was shot and we started with me and Devin and we shot most of that in order kind of. So, mm. so that was, that was such a luxury. You don't always get that. Um, okay. Yeah. It mirrored, it mirrored our relationship for sure. Gotcha. And did, did Devin and, and the rest of the crew, like, were there any tips that you can share with us as far as, you know, going further in your career? Well, you know, I think, I think all those actors are so respectful because sometimes when you give advice, it can come across as condescending sure. and, and, and I think, I think, you know, none of them wanted to do that. Um, I will say all of them kind of just, just by example, I think I, I, I picked the things that, are, you know, I was so impressed by. I think Alyssa, you know, she, she's a working mom. That was the first time I had actually worked with someone who's a working mom. And, and right. I watched her, you know, on FaceTime with her kids and, and maintain those relationships. That was actually the most eye-opening. I know it's not like a creative thing, but that's just like a logistical thing that, that, that I had never seen modeled before. So that was oddly helpful.
Okay. Okay. And then how's the transition been? Because a lot of people may not know this, like you started off like studying uh, screenwriting and you were a, a script coverage intern for Bloomhouse before you got your big break. So, you know, what was it that led to the transition from screenwriting to actress? Well, I went to, I went to a public art school in Kentucky um, called SCAPA and that starts in like fourth grade um, and you audition and I was there, it was a great public you know, art school. Um, and I was there for acting, you know, so, so, so acting was always the earliest thing. And then when it came time to choose a college major, like all the artsy kids at, at my university were English majors. So I just, I just did that. And, um, there was a great intro to screenwriting class that was taught by Danny Rubin, uh, who wrote Groundhog Day. Um, okay. he, he like changed my life. I never, I never thought I would be a writer. I thought I was going to be a performer and, and I just, enjoyed that class so much um and I was really lucky to be in it because I was a freshman and it was like it was I was one of the few freshmen in it and it was just such a it felt like such a privilege and we would just talk about movies you know and 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 right it was the most fun um I probably could have left college after taking that class <laughs> uh yeah and then um my junior year I really wanted to take a film class and the only thing that could fit in my schedule was horror film um, which I wasn't happy about at the beginning, but then I ended up really falling in love with it. And then Blumhouse, I was hired at Blumhouse because I could read scripts and go, ah, oh, it's, it's this meets this. It's this with a little bit of, you know, because I had the catalog in my head. Um, and then, yeah, I just, I, I wound up in one of their films. <laughs> That's awesome. My daughter actually just graduated from film school and she's an English major as well. And she's looking to get into screenwriting. So are there any tips that you could provide for her as far as, you know, her trying to break into the industry a little bit or for other college students out there looking to, you know, make the jump? <laughs> well, I've never sold a script. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have no authority <laughs> to give anyone advice about that. Um, I would say, uh, don't be afraid of grunt work. You know, I, I remember sitting in Blumhouse. I was unpaid and I sat there and I you watch a lot of things happen and you learn a lot just from being around um, that in the kitchen. I, I heard a lot and I watched a lot and it's all been very, very helpful. So yeah, don't, don't shy away from, <laughs> from, from being the unpaid intern in the kitchen, I guess. Gotta, gotta put in the work. That's what I, that's what I've been reminding her every day. You know? You want to get something, you got to go out there and work hard for it. Um, what, you know, what's something that you want the audience to take away from this film? I guess, you know, it, the film doesn't come down hard on, on any side. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't think there's a very clear message by the end of it. Um, mm -hmm. I, so I just, I just hope maybe, maybe people pick up the phone and call, call relatives. Maybe that would be a, a nice thing. Um, or just, just maybe interrogate. Um, themselves and where they came from and maybe have some interesting discussions. That's, that's all I can hope for. Hey, I mean, I got to tell you at work because I mean, I call my parents today <laughs> just to, just to check in. And I mean, what I love about this movie too, it's not just you know your story; it's the family dynamic. It's you know with Devin as well, with with your with your parents and then the twin sisters too. Again, it just really really comes across the screen. And, uh, you know, in terms of upcoming projects, anything that you could let us know about the, you know, that's coming up next for you? Um, I shot the Strangers trilogy in Bratislava uh, last year, right before Christmas. Um, and that comes out probably sometime this year around Halloween. So I'm, I'm very excited to see that. Um, I haven't seen any footage yet, but I had, I had a blast shooting that. Excellent. Excellent. And then last question, um, you know, being a pop culture podcast, we always want to dig in a little bit and see what the celebrities that we're interviewing, what they're into. Are there any, you know, shows that you're streaming or movies that you're just super into right now? And any like last second shout outs before we wrap up? Oh, man, so I'm, <laughs> I'm in the middle of another job and I try not to watch things when I'm when I'm when I'm working. But um, I really, really enjoy White Lotus and Severance. Those are my two favorite shows, I think, in the past year. Awesome. Awesome. Two great shows right there. And I'm looking forward to Ted Lasso season three coming out soon. Oh, yeah. How can I forget? <laughs> and uh, I've heard good things. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Good old Ted Lasso. And then I've heard really good things about shrinking on uh, Apple TV. So that's going to be one that I'm yeah, checking out Jason, as well. Jason. Jason Siegel and Harrison Ford. Yeah. Looking forward to that. So Emma, I know you got a busy day today. Thank you so much for joining us again. Be sure to check out the movie. Who are you people coming out this Friday, February 24th. Again, Emma, thank you so much and uh, blessings to you and good luck. Likewise, nice to meet you.
You too.